you are born to always win and to have dominion. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. And therefore, anything contrary to this is neither the will nor the making of God and has got to be rooted out. Jesus says this in Matthew 15, verse 13. But he answered and said, Every plant, which my heavenly Father hath not planted, shall be rooted up. So, by the virtue of your creation, you are meant to always win and have dominion. The Lord says in Deuteronomy 11, verse 24. Every place on which the sole of your foot treads shall be yours, from the wilderness and Lebanon, from the river, the river Euphrates, even to the, a western sea, shall be your territory. So by the virtue of your design, which is an image of God and his likeness, you have no business living a low life. Because you are meant to operate in the realms of God. God is never in need of anything. He is never afflicted or diseased, and our God is never depressed, fearful, anxious, or suicidal. Even so, it is not expected of you. But you have got to understand that the technology that makes it a reality is understanding, knowledge, and consciousness of this. You have got to know and understand that dominion is your redemptive birthright. Therefore, I decree and declare that anything that is making you not win or that is contending with your dominion rights and heritage comes under God's judgment now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And, because the scriptures document your right to dominion, any force opposing or manipulating this God-given right and privilege now faces divine judgment. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because the Bible makes it clear that you are made in His image. In fact, as a matter of fact, you are a God, according to Psalm 82, verse 6. I said, you are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. Therefore, anything that makes you act or live below the level and status of a God as conceived by God, according to the scripture, now comes under divine judgment by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. As a God, you are supposed to live above the limitations of physical nature. You are supposed to see things before they happen in the natural realms. You are not supposed to be killed. You are supposed to help men, not the other way around. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, I shift you to your rightful place and realms of operation as a God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lift you above the limitations and things that limit men. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever has been keeping you below the ranks and status that God has ordained for you is now subject to divine judgment. In the name of Jesus Christ, and because the Bible says in verse 7 of Psalm 82, but you shall die like men, and fall like one of the princes, and that would be orchestrated by a lack of knowledge. Therefore, I impart upon you every knowledge that you need to operate to your full potential as a God, as ordained by God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command the return and restoration of every wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that you lack and that has limited you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree that you will no longer be limited by knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and consciousness of who you are. In the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy unto you. By virtue of your new birth and redemption, you have received the grace to know and understand who you are in Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. By redemption and new birth, Christ says in Luke, chapter 10, verse 19. Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, I activate in you the power and grace to be invincible, indefatigable, and indestructible. In the name of Jesus. Receive the power now to tread on every enemy of your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. Receive the grace, from now on, to be indomitable, indefatigable, and indestructible by any creation. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Let us pray. Father Almighty, King of Glory, thank you for the lives of my listeners. Lord, they have chosen to follow you. Therefore, dear Father, cause the prophecies and declarations that I have made about their lives to come true. 
In the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Father Lord, cause your promise in Psalms 91, verse 14, to become their lot. For Lord, you say in Psalms 91, verse 14, that because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him, I will set him on high, because he has known my name. Father Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, because these have chosen to love you as their God, therefore, Lord, according to your word, deliver them and set them on high. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, according to your word, deliver them from the wills and wishes of their enemies because they have trusted in you. Set them on high above their contemporaries and predecessors, because they have known your name. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, cause them to have dominion after the order of Deuteronomy 28, verse 13, that says, And the Lord will make you the head and not the tail, you shall be above only, and not be beneath, if you heed the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you today, and are careful to observe them. Lord, cause them to have dominion wherever they go. In the name of Jesus Christ, let your other blessings, as enshrined and prescribed in Deuteronomy, chapters 28, verses 2 through 12, also be their portion. In the name of Jesus Christ, let all these blessings come on them and overtake them. Let them be blessed in the city and in the field. Let the fruit of the body, and the fruit of their ground, and the fruit of their cattle and, the increase of their kind, and the flocks of their sheep be blessed. Let their basket and their store be blessed. Let them be blessed when they come in, and when they go out. Dear Lord, let them be so blessed that all people of the earth shall see that they are under your protection and care because they are called by your name, and they shall be afraid of them. In the name of Jesus Christ, cause them to always have in their possessions whatever their heart will ever desire, provided it's not against your will and good plans for them. In the name of Jesus Christ, O Lord, Give them the grace to begin to see and know things that cannot be possible with men unaided by the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, child of God, from henceforth, may you be led by the Holy Spirit of God. You will no longer be subject to the rules and desires of the flesh, but will be ruled and directed by the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, dear Father Lord, for an answer, for in Jesus' name I pray. Amen.